Hello, Acho. This question reads that a spring block system is placed on a rough horizontal surface having coefficient of friction mu. The spring is given initial elongation spring mu by k and the block is released from the ridge. The subsequent motion of the initial acceleration of the block is 2 mu g option b maximum compression in spring in strict mu mu g by k option c minimum compression in spring in steroid option d maximum speed of the block is 2 mu g into root over m by k. First of all, we need to know the key concept here, which is spring force. So spring force is a restoring force. Whenever the spring is elongated or compressed, it acts and tries to bring the spring to its equilibrium position. Okay, and the spring force is proportional to displacement. Also opposite in direction opposite in direction with respect to the displacement okay and one more concept that we need to know is work energy theory So work energy theory tells us that work done by a force in displacing a body is equal to change in kinetic energy. So total work done represented by W total equals to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. That is the same in kinetic energy. So using this concept, now we solve the question. Suppose this is the spring mass system at equilibrium position. And now we have elongated it by some distance x1. Okay. The elongation is x1. And according to the question, x1 equals to 3 mu mg by k. So after elongation, if we consider the block. In this direction, spring force k acts x1. In this direction, frictional force acts, and in this direction, net force m a acts. So from here you can say that k x1 minus a f that is the frictional force equals to m a. X1 ka value hoga 3 mu m g by k. A k gets cancelled out and it ka value hoga mu into n. Mu is the coefficient of friction and n is the normal force and n equals to we know that mg that is the gravitational force acting in downward direction opposite to normal force so f equals to 3 mu mg minus 3 mu mg equals to ma mm gets cancelled out from both sides of the equation and we have acceleration a equals to 2 2 mu g so from here we can clearly say that option a is correct now let's see the second option that is the maximum compression okay by releasing the spring suppose it is accomplished by a distance x2 x2 okay so the motion of the spring mass system is like pendulum why because at the extreme position Velocity of the block is zero while it oscillates in middle position or the equilibrium position, it becomes maximum. So, as we can see, that with time the velocity of the pendulum decreases and at last it comes to rest at the equilibrium position. Same thing happens for the spring block system as well. Okay, after oscillating with some time, it comes to rest due to the spring force which is restoring force so in this case determine the maximum compression that is the h2 we use work energy theory okay so total work done equals to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so final kinetic energy and initial kinetic energy do not zero over why because they are the kinetic energy at the extreme positions that we know that extreme position means velocity zero over all right and here work done is by the friction 
force and the spring force. So we write W total equals to W friction plus W spring force equals to zero. Okay, now we can write that W friction equals to we will have negative of F into displacement that is x1 minus minus of x2 why the negative sign because here yeah, the force is applied in opposite direction of motion it will decrease the initial energy so we have f equals to mu mg into x1 plus x2 so it's the negative sign right and also w spin force equals to we can write negative of half f into x into dx from x initial to x final so x is the displacement here initial line may have the same half f into not x sorry this is k this one by two x initial to x final that gives us up k by two x final square minus x initial square that is p by 2 x i square plus p f square okay so in the next line we can put these values like frictional force k current work done hoda minus mu m g into x1 plus x2 and spring force k current hoda k by 2 into x1 square minus x2 square that is equal to 0 now we know that x1 square minus x2 square can be set to x plus x1 plus x2 into x1 minus x2 plus 0. If we divide both sides by x1 plus x2, then we have minus mu mg plus k by 2 into x1 minus x2. It is equal to 0. And we need to determine x2. So we divide both sides by 2. We will have this. It is equal to 0. So minus 2 mu mg plus x1 ka value value here that is 3 g by k1 not k1 sorry only k so k k gets cancelled out so we have this so finally we can say that k x2 equals to mu mg that is x2 equals to mu mg by k okay now let's check the options and we can clearly see option b is also correct so option c is incorrect because it is given minimum compression in spring is zero that is not true and let's check the option d now whether the maximum speed of the block is 2 mu g into m by root over m by k okay so we'll do it maximum speed is at the position will be obtained at the position when net force is zero okay suppose it is obtained at this position here the net force is zero so the speed is maximum Okay, so this direction this external force will act in this direction. The spring force F. We can write A is equals to A. A is the displacement. So X equals to A by K. If you have the mu mg, that is X equals to mu mg by K. Right? Now we write that.
So from its initial position, the displacement towards the position where force is zero is x. The displacement to the position where elongation is maximum. is x1 as we have seen previously okay. so again from the fortunately theorem we will solve this problem so the difference between displacement is x1 minus x that is 3 mu mg by k minus mu mg by k that is 2 mu mg by k okay now let's solve the question we need to find the velocity at the position where force is 0 that is the maximum velocity so you will write w total equals to half in this square that is the final velocity minus 0 because at the position where elongation is maximum, that is a extreme position. And in this position, the velocity is zero, so the current current is also zero. Work is done due to spin and friction. This equals to half a into v square. Now, w spin kili hami sakte ki half a into x one square minus x square. Okay and minus we can write here x1 minus x that is equal to half in this square so this gives us like half e into x1 squared cup value of cup 3 mu mg by k is cup square minus mu mg by k ka square and the difference between x1 and x is 2 mu mg by k so we will write minus mu mg by 2 mu mg by k that is equals to half mv square m is the mass of the block so we can write that half k mu mg by k ka whole square hum common le lenge then we are left with 3 square minus 1 square minus 2yk into mu mg square that is equal to half mv square okay so half k into mu mg square by k square that is 9 minus 1 minus 2yk mu mg first square equal to half mv square and k say agar k square ko cut kar do to k milta hai so we have like half to mu mg square by k into 8 minus 2 by k into mu mg square that is equal to half mv square it is equal to 2 say 8 go cancel out here to 4 mil time 4 by k mu mg square minus 2 by k mu mg square is equal to half mv square and we have like 2yk mu mg square to half mv square so v square equals to 4 by k v square equals to 4yk into mu mg square by m so in the next line i can write that v square equals to 4 by k into mu g square into m so v equals to 2 mu g to root under m by k so this is the velocity and if we see option d it is correct answer so this is our final answer option a b d is correct hope you have understood it well and wish of luck